Grassroots is an in-depth collection of the greatest Crown Jewel Motorsports events in America, where over 400,000 drivers eat, drink, and breathe short track racing. Each racer brings a devoted following of family and friends ready to do anything it takes to beat the competition. Rising stars to seasoned veterans. Generations of racers come from all over the country to one of over 1,100 short tracks competing in any of the 14,000 races held each year. Years of building relationships provides the Grassroots Production Team unprecedented access to endless stories that are as compelling as the racing itself. It's fast enough to feel like the tires want to rip off the car. I think these guys are going to tear some stuff up. It's 300 laps, but it's hard to get guys to remember it's 300 laps. They want to get to the front on the first lap. At any moment, a catastrophe can happen. I got a pretty good record out here. We've won three of them. And, uh, maybe we can make a four. Meet the wild and entertaining fans whose loyalties are incredibly fierce. The fans are, in racing are um, passionate, to say the least. We're here watching the World Crown, Paul Kelly, all the way, number 23. When they have a driver or two drivers that they, they're really rooting for, it, uh, you're not going to do anything to that driver. It's like talking about their mother. There's Paul right there. That's her boy. And find out how each of them became sucked into the racing lifestyle. This is what I was talking about earlier, man. You come out here, no matter who's next to you, they become your family and your friends. It's two years old, I was on a ramp truck and a dirt track watching Bill Elliott race at Dixie Speedway. Some of the people are crazy. They'll bring everything with them from the house. There's a crock pot and... You know, and I said, there's not even a plug up in the stands. What are you taking a crock pot up there for? The racing, the fuel, the rubber, the whole nine. Really loud, really cool. We like the noise. Party experience. Learn the history of these legendary tracks from the people who have been there from the start. Got a cousin. Been around him for probably 50 years. I've been racing myself for about 31, 32 years. When the track was built in 1967, it was state-of-the-art, and it was above a lot of short tracks of its day. But at one point, this track was the fastest half mile in the country. My dad was actually a dirt track racer, and so um, I remember briefly of, uh, you know, working on the cars in a barn and, you know, the smells of that alcohol burning in the motors and things like that. But, Still to this day, you can just smell it and, you know, and remember some good times with Jeff. And I remember going up as a kid to Davey Allison after that first race and asking him for his autograph. He was amazed someone wanted his autograph. Sometimes you wish you could just go back to when it was just wild and crazy. Let's bring what you got and race. Go behind the scenes where few are allowed to witness the ups and downs of what it takes to race on shoestring budgets. An entire racing season can depend on if they win, wreck, or just finish. About six hours every night just about we go and tinker with the car, fiddle around with it, and just come up with neat stuff that we can do and try. Make sure all y'all boys are really white. <laughs> More I check now, less I got checked when it's over, right? You know you ain't chasing no hopped up rabbits that way. And I've got a son that races dirt. My daughter, Brittany, took up some asphalt racing. She races asphalt tonight. My son's racing dirt tonight. You got this group of from this team and this group from this team. And, you know, they may be fine, you know, the last week and then this week, something happens on the racetrack and they're just enemies. It's a volatile situation because, you know, next week they'll be getting parts off of one another. Most all the guys know me and they know my reputation, so they know play by the rules. The deck lid was a little high and uh, we put some brake blowers on the car and they didn't like them, so, you know, just, racing stuff. If you make it through the first time, you're not trying hard enough. Delve into the driver's world as you discover the sacrifices made by family, friends, and the drivers scraping together everything they have for a chance to win. You kind of feel like, man, why am I putting all this effort into it, you know, not really getting anything out of it. I turn around the next day and say, you know, I love it so much, you know, it, it just, it's just the way it is. Now yeah, this is what we do. I mean, we work to race. We just Saturday night races. You got a few drivers out there who just have a full-time crew, 
full-time crew chief that work in the shop 24-7, but I pretty much do everything on my own. I'm hands-on with it, totally, you know, um, I do everything. Right now, I'm 11, but uh, when we come here, you know, I gotta kind of say I'm 12 because that's the way I can race. And then it's racing, man. Them guys could all ball them up on the first lap, so I, I've been a part of both of them. We've been leading races, getting wrecked by a lap car. You know, we've been sitting third and two guys wreck each other and win the deal, so. You know, that's why we race. I do it because I love it. My wife, she totally loves it. My family's totally behind me. Um, you know, I just had a little boy six months ago, but it's hard sometimes, you know, because we're, we're racing and then work and then family. Gotta try to juggle them all together, but it works out. I'm just glad to be out here always racing. You know, I live to do this. Beg, borrow, steal, or even cheat. It's all part of grassroots racing. These racers are out for blood to eliminate their competition just to race for one more day. You better bring all you got, son. I'm telling you. And everybody else, uh, you know, they looking for the wrecks and things like that. We're looking for the bite. It's racing. Anything could happen. Them guys could pile them all up in the first lap, and, uh, and we could, you know, be a part of it or we could gain from it. So we're excited. Legends, I hope I could put my name in the history book too.